Yeah, just in case it does refresh, there's Earth's shadow out there. And I'll also be able to show you this object here, that this is the one we've been watching that came around clockwise, not counterclockwise, around the sun. And it's close to uh, us there. So I'm going to hit refresh. Remember, I told you layers and layers and layers. Now, that's just Venus there. There should be Mercury over here. I mean, Mercury's been getting a pretty good uh, a flashing of... Uh, Electrical now what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in here real fast because basically I've already got it set up over here at this shot and we're going to take a look at What we got here that we've always been seeing that basically you're going to see when I back out of this that there's such a This is the how much the umbra is huge on the Sun right now. We get a great shot Remember these are stars in a row Okay, now there's plenty of stars in a row out in space. Okay, and you see the black light we get there. Okay, Actual factual, yep, and basically that's what we've kind of always known as a remnant, remnant that we see way the heck out. Well, right now we get a good flash shot of what we've got there for stars. So far, I get it over there like that, and you get a good look at it down in the corner there, and then I can kind of just cruise around it. Okay, check that black light signature out right there. Okay, right there, that's in the middle of that, and I'm going to glue in on that a little bit more, and you're going to see. And then the, what I gave you recently, there's a shot of butterfly effect, okay? See that little black spot right there? Now, that's more than likely what you're ending up seeing at Fireball when you're seeing that at the New Mexico. So when you look at Fireball and you're seeing that black blotch, more than likely this is what you are seeing. And what it is, is actually, it's stars, okay, that are then up there and it's remnants up by the sun, and every once in a while we get a good peek and look at it. But the most dramatic thing is I'm going to get out of here real fast. I'll move the magnifier away so you get a good look at that. That's what we're looking at. And then there was a signature that's right there in the middle of that dark area there, which is important because what I'm going to do is we're going to go out of here with the magnifier. I'm going to scoot up and over on the sun. And you can see the umbra. You see how big the umbra is? That's actually the sun right there. There's the sun with no limb, okay? It's basically a gigantic lemon, big teardrop. You see that? You see that? And then the umbra of all the energy, and yes, they hook the limb on right about there normally, okay? That's with the limb off reduced down as much as possible, okay? And then there's also a black remnant star right there that I can point out since I'm at 9.99, okay? Then I'm going to come over and basically I'll pop out a little bit. We'll go to 400. We're getting a good look at the sun here. And it basically layers, layers, layers. Okay. So that's blowing on that. And then you realize when I get back up to 999 real fast, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up and point to what we're going to look at more than likely is Saturn. And they're getting a good look at it because they're looking through the layers and layers and layers. Now more than likely that is Saturn, quite possibly. And no matter what, we have black stars. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pump in at 999 again real fast. Okay. And then we will scoot over with the cursor and I'll be able to sit over. I'll get my magnifier and hang out over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to get in on our more than likely what we, what we are seeing for our brightness that we're seeing up at Saturn. Well, now what it does is it, it shows, and this is black and white, but it doesn't really matter you got to use ultraviolet light more than likely to see this, okay? Because what you are seeing, you get a black blotch like we get down in New Mexico. What I figure what we're getting from that one remnant, okay? Black stars. Now, that's the reason I saved the volcano one for a while is showing you black starlight, butterfly effect from outer space. Now, I'm going to get in on this really tight. And what we are is we're still right there at more than likely what's possibly Saturn. Now, if I'm wrong with that Saturn, no matter what, we got a good view because I'll minus all the way out of this. We have a great view of a black butterfly effect of a star from way out in space. Because I got the original resolution right off the picture here from Navy. And I get it all the way up to 16. And I'll be able to go right over top of it. There's the what more than likely is Saturn and it's all of its moons and stuff like that and its rings and then we come down and this right there what you're seeing right there but next to the handle 
that is more than likely a black butterfly effect of whatever we're seeing because you can see the signature in space there and I'm really not seeing things because what we're going to do is we're going to minus down real fast boom 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 okay and then there's that little black blotch that you see right there and then I can go all the way out and we're at and that's that right there. That is a, more than likely a some kind of a star cluster or, or a hyperbolic star or something like that. These are all hyperbolic stars that are out there. Now I'm going to hurry up and I'm going to take us down here. You know we're at the sun. I'll give you down to, uh, boom, we'll just pop out real fast, 200. So basically that's what we were looking at. And we were looking at the umbra. Okay, there's many fields of that umbra around the sun there. That was a great shot. And I got a picture of it saved and everything. Now what's wild is we got this arc here. Now I'm only at 400, but the pixel rate on this picture is really crappy because the idea that it's from Beacon, but it's it basically the freshest we got at 518. Okay, so when I pop into that again at 400 here, you got to realize that look at this note. This should this is more than likely Saturn down there. Okay, because this is what we've got big blowing up and coming up. Because basically factually, I have got. Maybe I can get lucky and hit on the. What's important here? We only get a short amount of time on 2B because of what they're getting. What it, what is up at Saturn? Okay, and you don't really get it because this is all the way from the B side going all the way across. Saturn's way the hell far away from 2B, but it does pick it up. Remember, this is not an optical illusion. This is somewhat an optical illusion. Saturn doesn't rotate this way. It's just the idea that the satellite is following Mercury because it stays in that triangulation of Earth in stereo B and stereo A. So it has to keep following Mercury. And I've showed some footage of recently of like uh, the 19th here. I'll hit play. And basically, you see, it looks like Saturn is basically going clockwise around the sun. It doesn't. It's just the idea that the factual of the satellite. Now, you see here, we had 24 hours of time on, on this shot here. But they only give us they only give us this short amount of period of time here on this. So it's important that what we were watching up at there by Saturn is, is pretty doggone important. Because this shot here shows you basically also, too, actual factual that Vesta and Jupiter are still way over on this side of the sun. And I can zoom in. And that basically, that's why we are not in, in everything that we're seeing over to the left-hand side with Earth and Saturn and everything like that is all these newfound objects and so forth and so such. So uh, this was important. These basically, this, these CMEs at these different times. Check out the time. Same spot. Uh, I'll call off a number in this here in a little bit of what that coordinate number was on that. That is basically... And then this is the most important that I've been showing is there's Mercury and Earth to the right over by the sun. And then we have our objects right here that you can't miss the magnetical line and everything that goes to my videos and everything like that. And then I go straight across and we got Earth and Mercury and we're knowing that we have this object up by Saturn. And what I'll take you back to real fast is I think I believe I can get to... Uh, Remember what we're seeing it at uh, at Nehemiah, okay? There's the sun, and then as I keep going through here, you're going to end up getting more than likely what we figure is pan stars, and then boom, gone, okay? That fast, okay? So, factually, uh, the big arc there that we had on on this on the 21st. And I can hit play on that, and there's not, there's a, it was just a wild arc. Okay, I had that going. The, there we go, the regular direction, and then it's just a wild arc that we get on the 21st. Okay, so, and then the 22nd and the 21st, they weren't showing, uh, I can't get the 22nd not yet, but what I want to make sure that I emphasize is the factual that what we've got over here by, Saturn right there that's in the deal and that's Saturn there blown up on that shot and as I come across these shots It's the same thing magnetical, but this is zoomed in you see we've got earth bigger and everything like that. It's zoomed in Okay, satellites over and zoomed in so Showing what you get here You know and then what I'm what I've already showed you off a of beacon 
Now remember, this is bad pixels at this shot of this time. Right there, there's your time and date and everything like that, okay? But it does show you the change on that blow up of, of the shot of, it shows you the change that this thing has went high on what I'm pretty damn sure that this is what we've got over there to the left is up by Saturn, okay? So it's went high on Saturn like I figured it was going to. And then this is the 1108, 1118, okay? So actual factual with getting this newer shot from the 25th. It, and the other thing is the actual factual when you're looking at Mercury, which is Mercury to the left, and that's Earth. They they couldn't they're not going to go high on each other like you go back and look at that shot how that one's high and then low and then it just sediments it in more this object right there that we've got and then basically I'll come down and give you the dates and time again on this shot here okay. This thing has went high on Saturn, as you can see, it's starting to go high on Saturn there. So back up the footage that I just showed you, okay? Because at 11:18 it was this high on Saturn. It was that, or basically that low, and then factually, actually, and then you can see the black light that we're seeing out there too. You get it a little bit there too, but this is bright on the this blue background shot, and then factually. And remember, nothing's supposed to be back there with Saturn. Nothing. Absolutely. We go all the way out. We suck everything in. We bring it out. Nothing's supposed to be out there with Saturn. Nothing. So no matter what, with this fresh shot from, do you see the date and time? So we scoot over and go up. And then I'll plop up the next, the oldest shot, the older ones. And I'll see if I can get a fresh one. It's coming out and it's above more than likely Saturn right now. Either that or this is zoomed in more and then Saturn's barely up over here somewhere. Because factually, actually, that's what we had earlier at that time on the 24th. Okay? And then this is what we had from Sechi at that time up there. And we'll get the 22nd here pretty soon and we'll see what is, what's going on. But they are holding the B behind us, not letting us really see that. So uh, what I'm very much wanting to let you people know is the factual that we zoom in on the, on the lens shot on this object here. And I'm pretty doggone sure that the factual that that object is possibly, and because when, when uh, ISON comes around, that's how close ISON will get. So we're going to get it. We're going to find out how close that object is to the sun up there, okay? Because we will be able to measure it by watching the footage, okay? When it comes around, so that's why I was wanting to show you that object good there and whatever we more than likely that should be Saturn up there that they're trying to get a good look at, and all this stuff is real that's going on over by up by Saturn, okay? The dates and the time as I pop back to this one and then I slide up over on it. This was on the, and then I'm going to see if I can put a fresh one in here real fast from our other source of being able to get these shots, okay, because that's what this was here on this shot here at this time. So, but like I'm, what I'm showing, why I'm showing it, wanting to show it so much is because Earth is hella safe, i.e. go back to me showing you and sliding across on Earth. Now, basically, I want to zoom in on this object that we've got a shot of it on I've got a shot of that right here, and we can zoom in on that object real fast, because I'll put it up at, uh, we'll get like 400, scoot over, and we'll just take the magnifier real fast from there, and then scoot over on it, and as you can see, you can, without me using the pointer, you can see there's some pretty interesting action to that object, that this is the thing that came around the sun, come on, zoom up, this is what came around the sun clockwise. Okay, that came around the sun clockwise, ladies and gentlemen. And that's not Mercury. And if anything, that's the shadow of that object off the sun right there right now on this fresher shot right here. So, so this one's astounding, ladies and gentlemen, because just actual factual that that's a shadow off of a planet that we don't even know or object in space. And it's a huge shadow. It's going to put off the same size shadow. Either that or that's just Earth's shadow then going across there. Okay. So that's Earth's shadow, but no matter what, you've got that right there that's not Mercury right there. That that was a shot that I was blown in a few minutes ago on a different shot. Check the times and everything like that. And I'll go in this at 999. So there it is on the fresher shot at 999 and zoomed in. 
That's what it looks like. 